Shorty, and you are watching AJWF. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and enjoy. Massive thank you to UK wrestler Shorty there for the intro. She's part of GrapChats.com. Go check them out. It's the first and only service for indie wrestlers to give back to the fans. Personalised messages. Check it out. It's great. Uh, this video today, it's all about Dana. Dana Brooke appreciation time. Let's go. Hey everyone, it is me, WWE superstar Dana Brooke. Welcome back guys to another AJWF. Today, it's all about Dana Brooke and why not? To me, she's probably my favourite up there with Carmella in the WWE at the moment. I uh, absolutely love her. Here's some of the merch I've got. Some of cards, the two figures she's got. Only two, Mattel. Come on, she's been there for so long. Had so many different attires that are so toyetic. She should have more figures. Let's hope we get some this year. Um, a few extras at the end there, there for eventual customs. Got a custom in the middle there. Don't know if you'll be able to see it. If not, I'll stick a picture of it there or there. Somewhere here on the screen for you to look at. I'm no pro, so don't laugh. But yeah. Dana Brooke's cool. We will get onto the Royal Rumble predictions in a minute. But for now, let's take a look at some Dana Brooke pictures. So guys, for those that aren't aware, Dana Brooke, she is an American professional wrestler. She's a bodybuilder, gymnast, fitness competitor, and a model. You know, she is the total package. She's got it all. Uh, she signed to WWE. She started off on the NXT brand before moving her way up. Uh, she allied alongside the likes of Emma and Charlotte. So she's definitely an experienced competitor. Dana Brooke, she is known for the whole flex gimmick, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, she also partnered up with Apollo Crews and Titus O'Neil, when she was part of Titus Worldwide, as well as tag teaming with Mandy Rose, where they performed at WrestleMania last year. Dana's definitely not afraid of getting hurt in the ring. Her gymnastics background really shows. And also, she does all the gimmicks. She also makes a badass referee, so that's really cool. Uh, currently, she is the 24-7 champion, and she is really nailing it. She has brought that title back to life from, well, the point of obscurity really. Ever since Drake, Maverick and R-Truth lost their little battle, it wasn't really doing a lot, but Dana's brought it back. She's made it popular again. Hey Dana, I'm glad I have a chance to talk to you because I just wanted to tell you, I've been watching you bust your butt around here for years. I'm so happy to see you wearing gold. Thank you so much, Beth. That means everything to me, but I gotta go. Right? Guys, I'm just going to quickly show one of my favourite pieces I've got is this, the autograph Dana Brooke card. Hoping that comes up on camera. You see that there? So cool. I'm really, really happy to have that in the collection. Uh, she's had loads of cool cards. Um, I try and get some. I'm not really an overly big card guy, but I can appreciate them. Um, figures wise, I like the NXT one the best. Out of the two we got, we should have more. I'll move on. I'll get over it soon. But come on, she should have more. Uh, but yeah, the, I like the one. With the pink, the NXT one, the best of the two. It is that time of year, guys. Royal Rumble time. This year will mark the fifth ever Women's Royal Rumble. The previous four, they've all had Dana Brooke in. She's always made an impact. And on your screen right now, I'm going to try and show you all four of the times she made her way to the ring in the Royal Rumble.
guys, Royal Rumble next weekend. Should be a good one. Probably my favourite pay-per-view of the year, if I'm honest. Um, it's just a melee, isn't it? It's all good. Um, but yeah, obviously, there's a difference. I'll go to the Women's Royal Rumble first, because I'm more into that, if I'm honest. Um, who I want to win? Of course, Dana Brooke. Um, who I think will win? Well, why not Dana Brooke? She's 24-7 champion. She's killing that at the minute. But I want to say probably... Liv Morgan or Bianca Belair. They could do like another win for Bianca Belair. She's got the ability. But Liv Morgan will be a good little twist. Maybe her Becky at Mania. That'd be cool. So guys, let's talk about the Men's Royal Rumble now. Now, since Jeff Hardy left, I'll be honest, I haven't followed it as much because that me off. Um, <laughs> but I think I think it'll probably be Bobby Lashley, won't it? I think he'll win. I think he'll take on the uh, champion, lose that match, come back to the Rumble, be annoyed, be off, and then smash everything and get his rematch at Mania. That would kind of make sense in my WWE head. But who I'd like to win? That guy. KO, Kevin Owens. Now, I would take that at WrestleMania. I think he would, well, he deserves it. He's stuck around, hasn't he? And to be fair, what a quality wrestler Kevin Owens is. So yeah, him. Who else? Let's think. Actually, I just remembered. Johnny Knoxville's in there. Now, I'm a Bam Margera fan, so a bit controversial with the whole Jackass saga. But Johnny Knoxville's a legend, isn't he? Um, maybe 10, 15 years ago, I'd have liked it a lot more. He's a bit old now, isn't he? Don't break any bones or anything like that. Probably. I shouldn't say that, should I? Because he's in Jackass. He does it for a living. Um, but yeah, Johnny Knoxville. Send him to WrestleMania. Let him win. That would be great. <laughs> yeah, but let's get back. This is Dana Brooke Appreciation. Some more pictures coming your way. So guys, from the deep blue eyes to the winning smile, for me, Dana Brooke is the total package. I think she comes across as a really genuine person, she seems like she's a hard working lady and I wish her all the best in WWE and whatever she does later on in life. Oh yeah, and on the million to one chance that Dana Brooke actually watches this, who knows, you never know. But I want to say massive thank you to her, she's a role model and also, you know those little likes you make on tweets or little comments, it's appreciated, it goes a long way. We want Dana, hashtag it every Now guys, just a quick one. I found this video that's going to be on your screen right now. Uh, Dana Brooke with Zach Morris and Kelly Kapowski pictures. Now anytime there's a crossover, I'm happy with that. Saved by the bell rules, Dana Brooke rules. It's a great combo. Just thought I'd put that in there. Enjoy the rest. And whatever, I mean whatever life throws at you, you need to take it head on and know that nothing can defeat any of you.
Guys, as this video is all about Dana Brooke, I thought I'd give you a quick close-up of the few bits I've got for the Dana Brooke collection. The cards are all cool. The sign one, obviously my personal fave. The two Mattel figures she's got. My God, she needs another one, Mattel. Please, WWE. It's been so long. She's been with the company so long. Give her more figures. She deserves it. Um, but yeah, I hope you're enjoying the video. It's a bit different to the norm. Dana Brooke rules. Remember the hashtag everywhere. We want Dana. Well guys, we are wrapping this video up now. I do hope you've enjoyed the Dana Brooke appreciation. I hope she does well in the Royal Rumble. I think maybe she could lose the 24-7 title in the Rumble, then win it back. That could be a little gimmick. WWE, if you're watching, if you're listening, do that. It'll be good. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Massive thank you to Shorty. And do remember to check out grapschat.com. Well, that's been AJWF. Thank you.